Hi, welcome to the Electric E-Bike Service Center. My name's Luke, I'm a bike technician here at Electric E-Bikes. Today I'm going to show you how to properly clean your electric e-bikes. Before we start, we are going to need a few items. You'll need pink cleaner, microfiber cloth, rubbing alcohol, dry bike glue, two inch pipe cleaner, shop rag. First step in washing your bike and cleaning your bike is you want to make sure that your pin for the charger outlet is in its proper position. This helps protect the electronics from any kind of moisture getting inside your bike. The way I like to start is from the top and work down. Now, you do have electronics here that are water resistant, but you don't want to douse. You want to make sure you have your fiber towel, your bike wash cleaner, apply to your towel, and start at your handlebars. Get around the brake levers, give the screen a once over, make sure you get both sides, lightly go over the button pad, your left side brake lever, and your stem. While you're here, go ahead and get your light and hit the front of your bike. You're now ready to proceed with the rest of the body of the bike. For here, I suggest direct contact with the spray. You don't want to douse, but you definitely want to make it light spray. Fold your towel so that you have a little bit of grip and just lightly wipe the dirt off. The thing about using a pink wash is you don't have to worry about cleaning it with water. It's all inclusive. So it cleans with kind of a waterless process. Make sure to get your fork. Open your latch. You definitely want to make sure you get those hard to read places. You've done the first part of your bike in the front. Now let's work on the back. I like to stay to the frame. An important thing to note is you don't want to make sure that you do not douse your bike. You lightly spray. Dousing the bike causes liquid to get into cracks and crevices that will later lead to creak noises that will need to be oiled. Make sure to get around here on the dropout. I suggest not spraying the dropout as much as you already have kind of a moist rag and use that to wipe around this area. Grab one of your shop towels, spray it with the bike wash. You're now going to clean your chain. The same can be done with an old toothbrush. At this point, I would turn the bike upside down to be able to reach those hard to reach places and work on your wheels and back rotors.
Note that you want to make sure your screen is protected by turning it up this way. Starting with the front wheel, to make it easy on yourself, I like to give it a little spin. Using the dirtiest part of your rag, we'll now clean the tires. Working on the rims. Working on the hub. and giving the spokes a light dust off. Clean your brakes, you're going to want to take your rag and just kind of give them a light once over. It's very important that no liquid or dirt or grime falls into where these pads are. They may become contaminated. At that point, they'll need to be replaced. Now we're going to clean the rotor. Take one of your shop towels, rubbing alcohol, and about that much. You're just giving these a light glaze over. Do note, you don't want to clean it, these rotors with anything but rubbing alcohol. We prefer 70%. Rubbing alcohol on the rotors also helps eliminate squeaks when stopping. We're now going to clean the back hub. It's important to note that you don't want to spray direct wash on contact. Instead, spray into your rag. Working around the hub, also give your free wheel a light once over. To clean the inside of the hub, you're going to need to go between the spokes. This can be tedious, but worth it if you want to clean it lighter. At this point, you want to continue just wiping down the surfaces with your microfiber rag and pink wash. If you have a bike with gears, you'll want to take your pipe cleaner, spray your pink wash on there, and give it a light douse. Take your rag and just lightly dry. It's going to be difficult to get into those cracks and crevices, so you're just going to want to mainly do a wipe down to get the solution off. To dry, just bring your free wheel. Now that your bike's clean, you're ready to oil your chain.
What's important is when oiling your chain, you don't over oil it. It only attract dust and dirt. I don't squeeze the bottle at all. I just let the natural gravity let the oil drip out on the chain. You're kind of letting the oil just drip right onto the chain. Once your chain is oiled, a full rotation, you wanna make sure you give it a good spin to let that oil go into all the cracks and crevices. Now that your bike is clean and your chain is oiled, you're now ready to ride. If you have any questions, contact our customer support at contact at electricebikes.com or calling 602-715-0907.